Dear people of God, welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter's Reflection. I am Father Michel Manga, a Divine Word Missionary. Dear people of God, after having reflected on the readings of today's liturgy, I suggest as a theme for our meditation, abiding in the Redeemer's love. In today's Gospel, from John 15, 9 to 17, Jesus says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Beloved in Christ, Jesus has revealed that the love he has for his disciples is according to the way God the Father has loved him. We know that Jesus loved his disciples by teaching them, protecting them, guiding them, sacrificially serving them, and using his power and authority to accomplish marvelous deeds for the people. Thus, the love of Christ for his people is so remarkable that the only way he could paint the picture was to use the love of the Father for the Son. It leaves nothing more to be said. What the love of the Father is for the Son, who can tell? What the love of Mother Mary is for Jesus and for us, who can tell? The very suggestion fills the soul with the sense of profound depths which cannot be described. This love has no beginning, no end. This love is personal, without measure and unchanging. Beloved in Christ, through his passion, death and resurrection, Jesus has shown to humanity what it means to love. Love gives life, just like a mother would give life to a baby and have a very strong connection with her baby, so Jesus has given us new life in God. That is why he is inviting you and me to abide in his love, which is full of power, wisdom, truth, holiness, devotion, submission, sacrifice, to mention just a few. And when the disciple stays connected to the love of Christ, the relationship stays strong. This connection is made possible through the keeping of Christ's commandments. He says, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Dear people of God, obedience to the word of God makes us abide in the love of Christ and brings about a deeper understanding of God's modus operandi, that is, the way God operates in human history and in our lives. This understanding is the beginning of profound communion with the Redeemer who has given his life for us. For us who have experienced the love of the risen Lord during this Easter, we are called to be conscious of the redemptive effects in us so that springs of living water may flow from our hearts and actions. In fact, Christ's love is not about feelings and pious talk, but about commitment to concrete actions of charity so that the life of the risen Lord may be manifest in us and through us. May the risen Lord grant us the grace of cherishing his redemptive work, which is the source of our new life in Jesus Christ, in God. And may all our desires and actions be inspired by Christ's love for humanity. God bless you. <music>